you want to sound like Lil Uzi, you came to the right video. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to get the perfect and almost exact mix that you hear in Lil Uzi's songs on Spotify, on YouTube, all that. I'm going to show you guys how to mix exactly like Lil Uzi in FL Studio. It will be available for all DAWs at some point, but as of right now, there's a stock version and a Waze version in FL Studio. And let me just give you guys a little sneak peek of what this sounds like. T-Mobile phone, one, two, three, and when I get to the bitch, but it did, don't even feed your lips, he ain't sick dick, spraying out my hand like a motherfucking pig, got a coat that be longer than a bitch. So this is an unreleased Yeet song with Uzi on it. It hasn't come out yet, but I decided to recreate it because it just sounds insane. And while mixing this, one thing I noticed is Uzi and Yeet actually have a pretty similar mix. Uzi's is a little more clean with Yeet having some more like modern effects on it. But a fun part in creating this mix was making those ad libs that you hear in this song. And in my opinion, they actually turned out great. So without any further ado, let's actually jump into FL Studio and I'll show you guys how I created this mix. All right, so right off the bat, you can see Yeet is the blue version right here and then Uzi is the green part. So, so let's go into the mixer and click Uzi. We already have it selected right here and this is and these are the effects I'm using to get that low Uzi vert mix. You obviously start out with some auto tune. NS1 is just to take out some of the noise in the mic and we're just sticking to a very simple EQ like this just shaping the vocal initially. Then we got our R compressor here and we have the ratio set at 15. So it's basically like a brick wall limiter here. It's almost just completely flattening the vocal and a pretty standard attack and release here. Then we have another EQ the SSL channel from Waves and in here we're not doing too much we're boosting the highs a tad bit nothing with the high mids those low mids were taking a little bit out and then the low frequencies we are pulling some more low end out of there and we got our CLA 76 this is like my favorite vocal compressor pretty standard on every single one of my mixes is I'll have the ratio at four with the attack sitting right at the mid and a very quick release and for this compressor you're going to adjust your input for how loud your vocal is coming out of the few plugins that we have stacked above this so you might have to adjust this as you mix. And we got fresh air. If you don't have this, it's a free plug and you might as well grab it. And we're really pushing in those mid air and high air frequencies, which is just adding like some, some sparkle on the vocal. And we got a de-esser and a lot of people would say this is kind of this is kind of an odd thing to do to have a de-esser sitting at the end of all these different effects that I've already added to the mix. But the reason I do this is because I don't like to de-ess my vocal at first because you could kind of do that with most of your EQ if you're hearing too much of those harsh high end frequencies. I like to do it near the end of my mix just because it really helps me understand what I'm pulling out of the mix. And at this point in the mix, I'm probably pretty set with how the vocal sounds. So I might just want to take out a little bit of that harshness. And this kind of acts as like a high end adjustment adjuster almost for me like, like if I bring this threshold up and allow more of that high end to come in it could sound a little more clean or if I take some of it out it could make the vocal sit in the mix even better but it just depends on each and every mix then we finish with another fab filter where I'm just using the dynamic part of fab filter to pull out some of that low end and a fruity flangus just helps the vocal sit on top of that beat then we have it routed over to our reverb short and our reverb long as you can see it's these buttons right here and the reverb short sitting at 14 percent and the reverb long is sitting at 29 percent if you actually grab this preset it will come with a video on how to use this because you're going to get this mixer track right here the little uzi ad libs then you're going to get the reverb short bus the reverb long bus and the one fourth delay bus, which the one fourth delay is sitting at negative 16.7. This will all be included in the folder, but that's a quick breakdown of how I actually made the mix. Now, let me show you what this preset actually does. I'm going to show you the vocals with no effects on it, completely raw and how it sounds and how it sits on the mix. You're going to see that it sounds terrible. So here's what it sounds like if Uzi didn't have an engineer to mix his vocals. She gon' give me brain, fucking on my dome. She got her own man, can fuck up her home. I got my own plan and just to get her home. Yeah, no, she my sidekick like an OT mobile phone. One, two, three, go. And when I get and now let's hear what it sounds like with the effects back on. And like I said, there's a huge difference, especially on this part right here. She gon' give me brain, fucking on my dome. She got her own man, can't fuck up her home. And I got my own plan and just to get her home. Yeah, oh, she my sidekick like a OT mobile phone. One, two, three. And when I get to the bitch, but it dip don't even feature lips, he ain't sick a dick. Spraying out my hand like a motherfucking pit. Got a coat that be longer than a big body bins. Only got buzz, I ain't got no friends. Got a op chop one time just for a glim. Had to confront the body from a glimpse. I get so high, I'm on top of the blim. Yep, so that is what my little Uzi preset sounds like if you want to know how my fl studio looks like this and how i'm mixing like this where everything's like colored and everything's set to a mixer track like this i am using my default vocal mixing template which i'll have available down in the description below but for the end of the video i'm just going to show you guys what this actually sounds like live so i'm just going to play it and right at the end do like a little freestyle for you guys so thanks for watching and i hope you guys enjoy this freestyle if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that like button make sure you leave a comment let me know what you guys want to see next and here's what it sounds like if i tried to freestyle like Lil uzi go
Yeah. yeah. Had to confirm the body from a glimpse. I get so high, I'm on top of the blimp. Yeah. Pull up in an all white bands, put that motherfucking coupe on the motherfucking tins. Look at the motherfucking rims, the way that they spin, they look like some bins. I just pulled up, then I fucked that bitch, and I fucked out all her friends. Yeah, you wanna talk shit, but I got that chop, I go bang, man.